Uh, hi, my name is Mike Enzer. I'm a tech lead for Google Distributed Cloud. Today, we're going to demonstrate a couple different uh, demonstrations on what we can do at locally at an edge. As you can see here, we have our cluster. Uh, operations are all happening right here. None of this is going to the cloud. We're going to simulate what would happen in a convenience store or maybe in a uh, retail store uh, for ordering products. So as a consumer, we can come in here and grab the items that we wanted in it. So maybe some panko, some cheddar, you know, various different items here. These are the items in my basket. But say I have an item here, I don't know what it is, but I know that it's white. So I'm just gonna use real basic uh, uh, text search or, or a, a human language searching for it. Bring my mouth up. And you'll see here that it's now pointed out. Oh, here's some different items that you, that might have been the thing you're looking for. Oh, that's right, you know, it's white grained rice. So I'm gonna add that to my, to my list of, of items in there. Now when I hit pay, it's gonna prompt me with a, I know what's in your basket. And I'm gonna recommend, you know, let's grab some of this, right? I've got an extra item. I'm gonna go ahead and complete my payment. Now what's really cool is when I come down to my payment here, uh, not only do I see the items, but I also see a QR code that goes back to a recipe that I can now go create the item that I, I uh, uh, purchased for. So that's great from the consumer side, but now to say, I'm an assistant who works at the, uh, uh, at the store. And I want to be able to go in and say, great, this person came up to me and said, I need to have a, a tax exempt order I need to do. So again, all of this runs here locally. What I'm gonna do is a series of some pre-canned examples. But in this case, uh, I'm just gonna say, customer wants to do a tax exempt order. I don't remember how to do it. I can ask the question, you know, how do I propose uh, or process a, a tax exempt order? And here's the output. This came directly from our corporate policies uh, for how to process this. Allows me to continue further and say, you know, how, uh, how long or like, uh, yep, and I'll just uh, hit enter. And it's uh, able to uh, continue to keep processing uh, and, and providing me a chatbot uh, options here. Again, all of this is done here locally. None of that went to the cloud. The LLMs are running, are processed all here on premise. Uh, and then we were able to train a lot of the data up in the cloud and pull those vectors down and run them locally. So now if we lose internet, we're able to still continue to operate, manage, maintain, and not lose transactions. Thank you.